Hi, we've got another Deconstructing Questions video today. Uh, we're looking at Pearson and Excel, Functional Skills and Maths Level 1, and we're taking some questions from the January 2018 paper. So let's start with question 2. Luke wants to make some snacks for the rowing event. He has these lists of ingredients. So we've got energy bars, makes eight bars. We've got one tablespoon of oil, three bananas, one tablespoon of honey, one tablespoon of peanut butter, 280 grams of oats, and two tablespoons of mixed seeds. Now, you might not know that TBSP stands for tablespoons. In an exam, it can sort of cause a bit of panic if you see something you don't understand. But just calm down and think, does it matter? Is it important? What's important is that we need one of these things and another one of these things, and two of these things. So if something's not clear, don't worry, it might not be essential for you to know what it means. Okay. Uh, and with smoothies, for each smoothie, so this was for eight bars, this is for one smoothie, you need one banana, 300 millilitres of skimmed milk, 30 grams of oats, 100 grams of plain yoghurt, and 140 grams of mixed berries. Luke has two kilograms of oats, he will make four smoothies. Luke also wants to make 50 energy bars to sell at the event. And a question just squeezing down here. Uh, does Luke have enough oats to make four smoothies and 50 energy bars? Okay, now this is actually a five mark question. Uh, but we might not need, you might not see it as, as many marks as five. So, so let's see as we go along. Uh, I'll do the steps so, so we're still keeping track of it. Well, I suppose the first step I'm going to do is we've got, all right, we've got tablespoons, but where we have got measurements, we've got them in grams or millilitres. Here, we've got kilograms. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert kilograms to grams. Okay. And I know that one kilogram... Is 1,000 grams. So we've got lots in grams, so it's easy to just to convert this one. So two kilograms. Well, if one kilogram is 1,000, two kilograms will be 2,000 grams. Okay, now what's the next thing we're going to do? Well, he wants to make four smoothies, and he also wants to make 50 energy bars. So, uh, and it's only the oats we're interested in. So actually... We could cross all of these out. Yeah, it's only the oats. So we want to start off by making four smoothies. So how many oats or, well, I suppose it should be how much oats. smoothies. So often with these what I'd say is well it's good to work out how much you need for one smoothie and then you can multiply it up but in this case because we've already got each so one smoothie so we can just do four times thirty. Four times three is twelve and add the zero one. So we've got 120 grams. Okay. So He's going to make energy bars with what's left. So I suppose this could be step three is how much oats left after we've used or made four smoothies. So we're going to have 2,000 we started with and we're going to take away 120 grams. So let's use a calculator for this. 2,000 minus 120. And we've got 1,880 grams. Right. Well, now we've got to think about the energy bars. Okay. Now, different ways of doing this. What I'm going to do is, if 280 grams are for eight bars... So we're going to work out 
how much oats for one bar. So we're going to do 280 divided by 8. And that gives me 35 grams. Okay, so if we want to make 50 energy bars, how much oats for 50 bars? We're going to have our 35 times 50. So 35 times 50, and that's 1,700 and 50 grams. So all that's left is to make our conclusion. So let's do here, then we'll do our, uh, oh, we can say comparison. We're comparing our answers. So how much oats did we have? Well, we had 1,880. How much oats do we need? Well, we need 1,750, which is less than what we had. So, has he got enough? Yes, he has. Because it's very easy to have your two answers and then think, oh, well, does it matter which way round do I want them? Which one's the bigger one? So think, what do I want? And what have I got? Or it's the other way round, isn't it? What do I want, which is 1,750? What have I got? 1,880, which is more. So yes, he's got enough. If you want to do it a different way with the 1,880, you could divide it by the 35 grams to see how many bars you could make out of it. And you'd get an answer which is bigger than 50, which again would still give you an answer of, yes, he's got enough. Okay, question six. Ben wants to compare different types of rabbit food. He knows that 500 grams of dried rabbit food contains 90 grams of fiber. And 30% of the weight of hay is fiber. So we're looking at two different types. We're looking at dried rabbit food and we're looking at hay. Ben thinks that 500 grams of hay has twice as much fiber as 500 grams of dried rabbit food. Is Ben correct? Show why you think this and show a check of your working. So when they ask for a check, that check is going to be one of these four marks. Okay, so really important. You answer the question for three marks, then you do a check afterwards for the extra mark. Okay, so we're going to have our four steps, but this fourth step will be my check. So what do we want to do first? Well, we want to know... Well, they've told us how much fibre is in the dried rabbit food. We want to know how much fibre in the hay. But we're going to start off with... Well, we're going to start off with 500 grams of, of hay. So how much fibre in 500 grams? And it's 30%, so it's going to be... 30 divided by 100 times 500. So 30 divided by 100 gives us the answer as a decimal, 0 0.3. Multiply that by 500, and we've got 150 grams. Okay. Well, what do we want to do next? Well, we want to know, they're saying that 500 grams of hay has twice as much fibre as 500 grams of dried rabbit food. So, what is twice the fibre in 500 grams of dried rabbit food? Well, in 500 grams it's 90, so if we want twice that, it's going to be 90 times 2. So 90 times 2 is going to give us 180 grams. And then the third step, 
we're going to compare our answers and make a decision. So we had, well again, let's think about what we want and what we need. We've got 180 grams of uh, fibre in dried rabbit food. Now, they were saying that it's, that's the question, Ben thinks that 500 grams of hay has twice as much as 500 grams. So we need it to be 180, but actually we've only got 150 grams of fibre in the hay. So is it twice as much? No, it's not. It's less than twice as much. Twice as much would be 180. So it's less than that. In fact, it does say uh, he thinks it is, is twice as much. So it doesn't say at least twice as much. So we could just say they're not the same. They're not equal. Therefore, the answer is no. Now for our check. When you do a check, it might be uh, you work out the answer in a different way. Or often what we will do is a reverse check. So we're going to do a reverse calculation. Sometimes they'll tell you how they want you to do the check, other times they'll leave it up to you. Well, I'm going to work on this part of the calculation. So to do a reverse calculation, you start with the answer. It's 150. So we had 30 divided by 100 times 500, so we're going to do it in reverse. So we're going to divide it by 500. And then, well, we had the 30 divided by 100 times 500. So really, we're going to have uh, which way? We can do it this way. So we were dividing by 100 times by 500. So we divide by the 500, but then we're going to multiply by the 100. And it should get us back to the 30. So let's see, so 150, we're dividing it by 500, then we multiply it by 100, and it does get us back to 30. Okay, so we've done our check, and we've got our answer. Okay, on to this question. Now this was question seven, this one here, but it's part B of question seven we're doing. So after her eye test, Amal needs to pay £25 for her eye test, £155 for the frames, £39.50 for the lenses, insurance for her frames and lenses, and this table below shows the cost of insurance. And the cost depends on the total cost of the frames and lenses. So if it's less than £101, it's £9. If it's in this range, it's this amount. So we have to use this table to work it up. How much does ML have to pay in total? So what are we going to want to do in this question? Well, really we want to add up all the costs, but we can't add them up just yet because we don't know what the insurance is. But the insurance is based on the total cost of frames and lenses. So we need the cost of frames and lenses. Now, once we've got that, we can then use it to use answer to look up in the table. To look up insurance cost and I've got in table. When we've got that, we can just add up or sum all the costs. Right, because it's based on the cost of frames and lenses. So Frames and lenses, we've got 155 for the frames, £39.50 for the lenses. So we 
get £194.50. Well, where's that going to come? Well, it's not below 101. It's more than 101 and less than 200. So it's going to go in here. So the cost of the insurance is £19. So, we found out the cost. We've used it to look up the insurance. We need to add up all the costs. Well, we know £194.50 is the frames and the lenses. We still need to add on the eye test. And we need to add on the insurance, which is the £19. So we've got the £194.50. Add on the 25. Add on the 19. And we get a total cost of 238.5. That would probably be your third mark, but we got four marks. So the fourth mark is really just tidying it all up and saying, well, we've got to have our pound sign because it's money. And if it's money, we've got to have it in pence. So £238.50. and p. OK, so I've tried to just pick out what I think are the, the most useful questions in, in this paper. Uh, hope you found it useful. As always, you can find the original paper below the the video. I always put a link in there. Now, if you do want to have a go at the question, absolutely fine, but note it's the old syllabus. So some of the questions won't be relevant anymore, which is why I say I try to pick out the ones that I think are going to help you the most. But feel free to have a, have a go at the others as well if you want to. Okay, thank you very much. Please subscribe, like the video, give me any comments, and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.